Good morning, church family. My name is Helen Freeman. I am 82 and a half years young, and I live here in Aurora, North Carolina. That's my home. I became an Adventist about 50 years ago while residing in Philadelphia, and I thank God for this message. After relocating to Raleigh in 2012, I joined the Gethsemane, where I have been enjoying my time through the many auxiliaries here in this church. During my conversation with my son, Michael, who is the SDA pastor, and he proclaimed that I would be the first one in my family to break the generational curse of cancer. Over the many years, I have had many different family members suffering from cancer, and I helped them through their worst of times. The hardest to handle was taking care of my daughter, who passed away of ovarian cancer. Let me tell you about the goodness of my God. In early fall, I was diagnosed with stage three pancreatic cancer. And I was told on October the 18th that the cancer was moving faster than the treatments. I was in so much pain that day. My son was supposed to have been with me, but due to un uh, predicted circumstances, he was, able to, was not able to make it. So other boys stepped right in as always and to help me and be with me on that day. And she's been with me ever since. I have spent many years taking multiple pills to combat different ailments in my life. But being placed in hospice, since I've been there, I continue to feel the effects of the disease, but without pain. My appetite has come back. I enjoy the taste of food. I went from feeling hopeless to taking only two pills a day. No pain and having more energy than I've ever felt in years. I received multiple recommendations from people to drink sour sap tea, which I've been drinking every day. While the cancer may still be present in my body, I continue to be blessed and to live my best life today. I can take care of myself, I drive short distances, and I am still in my right mind. So I praise God today for the many prayers and the prayer warriors. The prayer team that's going up, I've been praying for me, Diana and the prayer team, my son's church, the Emanuel SDA Church in Latonia, Georgia, the Misfit Church in Philadelphia, and the Ephesus Church in Newport, North Carolina, and many others who have been keeping me in continuous prayer. My prayer is that this testimony will help someone give you courage, let you know that God is still on the throne and is still having us to get through our trials and tribulation even today. Our God is bigger than all your trials and tribulations. So while I know that I'm not going to live forever, I'm spending my best days praising my God and for all that he has done for me. So can I leave you with this song? Please be blessed. Jesus, 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 there is something about that name, Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance at the the rain, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim, kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about that name. Remember, call on the name of Jesus. He's still in control and he's still healing today. God bless you, church family.